Hey everybody, welcome to your February 2023 money and career reading with me, Stella Wilde. We're going to dive into the energies to see what's popping with your monies and your business life. So stay tuned. So before we get into the reading, I just want to draw your attention to the 2023 Lucky Stars book, which is published now on Amazon. If you want to find out the astrological scoop for the year ahead, you'll definitely want to check this out. A link is in the description and in the first pinned comment. Many of you ask me a lot of times for timings, lucky days, things of that nature. That's in this book for each sign for every month of 2023, in addition to a lot of other important astrological information. So check it out. And for those of you who've already purchased the book, thank you very much. All right, so this is for all signs. It's timestamped. Timestamps are in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment. I'm gonna do a separate reading for February for entrepreneurs, those who have a full-time business of their own or a side hustle, okay? So this reading, we're going to focus specifically on just money information and then also career. If you're currently working, what's going on? If you're looking for a job, what's going on? Like that type of thing. Okay. So we're going to get right into it. If I can pause the video for a second and figure out what deck I'm going to use. Cause the cat is sitting right there. I can't even see the button to press stop and start recording again. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on for your money and career life. What is going on for the Aries peoples? What do we need to know? Remember, everything's a metaphor with the Oracle decks. All right, what do we got? We have the light bulb. We have lucrative ideas, new income source and inspiration. Beautiful. Career, we have entrepreneur, new job and creative work. Okay. So let's clarify first about this new income source. What, what do we need to know about that for the Aries people? New income source. Now, remember, everything's a metaphor. So this could be, when we say income, this could be like a bonus. This could be income tax refund. I mean, it's not technically income, but we're going to look at it as money you know, some sort of new money coming in. It could be a new income source, like a new job as well, or a new side hustle you're starting. Okay, let's see. All right, so we have the temperance energy and we have the three of swords and we have the ace of wands. Okay, so something that was a disappointment before something that was blocked your way was blocked with something financial with this three of swords there could have been a financial betrayal in terms of you were expecting a raise you didn't get it you're expecting a promotion you didn't get it you were expecting somebody to pay you back money and that you didn't get it um there's you know something going on here with that uh but that's gonna that is going to be healed that is that that is being cleared out of your way with this glorious Ace of Wands that is showing up here. I think you're going to get some interesting news, I would say, by the full moon in Leo. But I mean, it could be at any point in the month. Uh, but the full moon in Leo, I think, is happening around the 5th, 6th, 7th, around that time frame. So, uh, you know, this this is some very exciting good news that will put the wind beneath your wings once again in pursuing your financial goals. Okay. It's going to, it's going to bring back your creative fire. It's going to probably light a fire under your butt because of the Ace of Wands here. We got this light bulb. So, um, this could also be that you're, you're solving, you're coming up with an idea, like you're solving a creative problem with your finances. Um, if something has been blocked, if you were like blocked for an idea in terms of how you could manifest more money, that's going to change. The temperance card is here. And you're going to come up with the exact right thing that's really aligned for you that you're going to love doing. So again, whether this is a side hustle or you're deciding to switch careers and do something totally different, I mean, that's possible. So um, this is temperance is about patience and planning. It is about shifting energy as well. And it is with this, this beautiful angel here. Uh, it is about um, spiritual growth and about spiritual assistance from behind the veil. So, um, you know, there's, 
something could miraculously shift in your life when it comes to this income source. All right. And it is like this light bulb, like boom, like going off, um, just like flicking a switch, like all it wasn't there. And then all of a sudden it's there, uh, and you're ready to rock and roll with it. So this is, this is very, very good. And it's tied in with this inspiration. You're going to be putting your energy behind some sort of new initiative, which I love for you. Um, so yeah, new income source. You could be also, it's possible that you've kind of seen the writing on the wall. Maybe since Sagittarius season, you were hoping that, which is approximately three seasons ago, when we move into Pisces season, it'll be three seasons ago. You were really, you know, hoping for some sort of better income from your job. And maybe again, promises fell through, it didn't happen. You're going to take action and say, you know what, I'm, I'm, I got to face the reality of this. I'm leaving this behind. And you're going to, again, find the inspirational path and the energy to go back out there and manifest what you want and what you deserve. So, you know, it depends on what's going on, what's going on for you. Um, okay. But you're removing this block, this block to your finances. And this could have even been something from like three years ago. It's possible. This could be something where, uh, you know, maybe your finances took a setback because of a divorce, right? That happens a lot as we know. So some sort of, you know, sadness, sad situation happened. And, uh, but that's, you're shifting out of that. You're shifting out of that and you're going to make a fresh start for yourself with your finances. So that's very nice. Block is dissolving. All right, let's ask about what we need to know about this new job, this new job or new creative work that you might be involved in Aries. Let's find out. The Ace of Wands is a great energy. It is, it is that kind of green light from the universe. So this is also for me that the Ace of Wands could be, um, I mean, Ace of Pentacles, I would think of as seed money, but that is your energy. So you could be getting some sort of little bit of a boost from the universe and getting the ball rolling with that income, with the money. All right, let's see what we got for this new job. You're manifesting it. Look, there you are in your beautiful red robe. And we got the Pisces energy coming up again. And look, interesting right the ten of swords we just had the three of swords so and you know this is also a block ten of swords is a block three of swords is a block yes they can also be betrayal sure but um you are manifesting an emotional break with your past when it comes to this new job and your creative work whatever this is about the new that is the magician it is about the new for you this month um, emotionally, again, you could have been feeling very stuck and uninspired. You could have just been feeling out of, like you couldn't see, I mean, here's the guy's face in the sand. You couldn't see how you were going to, you're going to move forward, but the light is turning on. That's what I'm saying. This light bulb, it's like, boom, the switch goes and there you are. Like, here I am. I'm ready. Let's do this. So you're moving out of this emotionally stuck situation. Uh, and you, you have the power this month, Aries, to manifest a, a really gorgeous new opportunity for yourself, whether it's a new job or you're putting your energy behind some sort of new creative work at your current job. Uh, if there wasn't this type of situation going on, but this could also, because it's the swords we're talking about here, 10 of swords, three of swords can also be a mental block when it comes to your own creativity. And having the juice and inspiration to do something that's just not there. So, you know, it could be as well that you finally, you come up with that Eureka idea and present it, present a proposal to your boss, your department or whatever, and you feel inspired about it and they're like, go for it. Okay. So it can be something like that, but also this is a great month for you to put the ball in motion to manifest a new job for yourself. Okay. 
get my astrology book, plan your lucky days ahead for the month. But we have all the planets going direct as of January 20th until April 20th. This, this, these are great four months to really make stuff happen for yourself. And you can with this magician card here. Okay. So what do you want to manifest? What do you want to manifest with the new job? It's got to be something where you're going to be able to be your very individual airy self with this number one here. All right. So don't be afraid to really highlight yourself, showcase yourself, your talents and your skills and abilities in a very interesting new way. Let that light bulb shine on you as well, Aries. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on with your money and career life in the month of February. Taurus, what's going on? Money and career for the Taurus peoples. What do we got? Oh, we got some cutlery. Okay, so we have business tools, needing more money and living well. Okay. <laughs> and career, we have food related, sole provider and more work. Okay. So everything's a metaphor with, uh, with these cards. So, all right, let's, let's look at, we're going to clarify this needing more money situation and how you can manifest that. Let's see what the advice is from the cards for your money life. And then we'll look at how might this more work be coming in for you? Okay, so let's work with the theme of more. You want a feast of plenty with this cutlery here. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the finances. How do we get this more money? Mo money, mo money. I used to love that in that show in Living Color. Anybody watch that show? Leave me a comment down below. That's going way back in the archives. If you know that show, then we are soulmates. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. Taurus and more money. The Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Okay, this is very good. And the Page of Cups. All right, so we got the Pisces energy showing up here. Okay. This is a time to get your butt in gear. Now, I'm not saying your butt hasn't been in gear. I remember it's a general reading, but this Knight of Wands, this is about passionately going out there and getting what's yours. Okay. So, uh, if you, if you put your energy forward, right. And Uranus is going direct in your sign now, all right. If you put your energy moving forward quickly and instinctually with this Knight of Wands, and really fuel your actions with passion this energy some good news can come in for you in pisces season which starts february 19th and we have the nine of cups here so whatever your wish is with this more money it's going to require a change in your actions this knight of wands so that's going to be different things for different people Maybe you've just been going through the same old, same old routines. Maybe you haven't switched things up with, um, you know, your motivational levels maybe have been a little uninspiring lately. So this is saying, find the way you can shift your energy. You also, I mean, we, you know, maybe you're finally getting your physical energy back. Maybe, you know, you've had some sort of flu or something like that and you're finally feeling better. So this also signals that there is a fresh, beautiful change on the horizon when it comes to also your physical energy level. So you're feeling good. You're feeling back out there to manifest this more money. Also with this nine of cups, this is about appetite. So this is like the fuel, right? Appetite. And we got the cutlery. So this is like what is passionately fueling you to get more money. All right, I've said this so many times on the channel that it is it is not always about the dollar amount. I mean, yes, we all need money to live. Dollars are important or euros or whatever currency we're talking about, gold, okay, silver, whatever. Those are important. But when we're just pursuing a dollar amount, that can sometimes sometimes be counterproductive. You really want to focus on and fuel the energy, right? The emotion 
rather than just the dollar amount. The dollar amount will follow naturally. Okay, so this is what this is saying to me. Find the appetite, find your why. What is the fuel that is getting you going on this horse to manifest more? I may have something to do with creative inspiration with the page of cups here. Um, this is your 11th house, the Pisces, your 11th house of hopes and wishes and dreams. So again, maybe it's something, if you want more money, maybe you have to redirect your energy and your focus to a different dream, a different goal than what is currently you've been, you've been trying to achieve. All right. So a lackluster appetite gets lackluster results. When we feel passionate and excited about what we're making for dinner, okay, then like we tend to enjoy the meal more. Work with my metaphor, people, okay? So you know what I'm saying with this. And this is some good news with this page of cups here. But this is what I feel is going on. And this is baby steps too. So there is something I think you're going to be emotionally shifting about the way you're going to approach manifesting this more money. All right? Okay. Let's dive in and find out with a different deck because I like to see if energies repeat. What we need to know about more work. Is more work coming? All right, what do we need to know? It also is possible, I'm just looking at these energies again. It's also possible with these energies, if you initiated something, some sort of money goal investment or money directive direction you were heading in, in either Sagittarius season or Leo season, uh, there could be some good news. There could be news about it. So like, let's say you put in for a promotion at your job to manifest more money. Uh, back in Sagittarius season, there could be some good news that you're in the running. I'm not saying you're necessarily going to manifest it, but it could be you're in the running and you can have the interview, right? You can present yourself and have the interview. So it can be something like that, that may be going on as well for you. All right. Let's see what we need to know here about more work. Because this could be applicable for some of you, maybe underemployed right now. Maybe you're only working part time. You want to work full time. Maybe you you don't have any work right now. So that more work would be, you know, more work. All right. So we have a two of coins. Some of you are working part time and you need a full time job. We have the four of cups. Uh, look, another page. Look at this. We have the Aries energy, the page of wands. Okay. So again... I think this is in the beginning stage, but the universe is trying to bring you something. Uh, I think some sort of better opportunity. It, it could be, uh, it could be like a full-time job that they're trying to bring to you. Now, I think you could go for the interview again. I'm not saying necessarily the job is manifesting, but the opportunity to manifest that new job is finally coming with this universe energy, bringing the cup. This is the juggling act you've been doing with these two part-time jobs. And it's, you know, you're not happy about it. So uh, here comes the universe with a situation. This could be happening maybe at the very end of Pisces uh, season in February. I mean, you know, the very last week with the four, the four of cups here, so the last week. Um, it could also be happening, I mean, honestly, it could be happening at the very end of Pisces season in March, that's possible. Um, but we're looking at February's energy. So this could be around the fourth. That's possible. Uh, we have a full moon in Leo. Here's our Leo energy, the page of wands that's happening. I think on the fifth, sixth, seventh, like right in that time frame. So you may hear some news. It's possible in that first week of some sort of interview, I think for a full-time position. If you are currently unemployed, um, the position sure may be part-time, but you know, it could also be, it could also be a full-time, a full-time gig. Okay, so this looks very promising for those of you who are wanting to uh, stop juggling two jobs and instead just have one, one job. So keep, keep circulating your CV, your resume, keep putting it out there. I know it can get very, um, you know, discouraging when you keep trying, keep trying. But if you don't keep trying, then the universe is like, all right, well, then we're not, you know, bringing it to you. So just 
I just dig in deep, find that perseverance that I know you guys have and just keep putting it out there. Uh, and it looks like the universe would like to bring in an opportunity for an interview for you. And that page of wands, you're going to have to, again, we had the knight of wands before. So this wands energy is showing up because I think what it is saying to me is there's something here where you have to present yourself with a little more fire, a little more passion, passion, enthusiasm, exuberance to manifest this next opportunity. Even when you show up on the interview, okay, like you really have got to express that you are interested. Okay. So um because this guy look how he's sitting there he's very despondent and this can be he's like bummed out so and i'm not saying you don't have a reason to bum, be bummed out if you don't have a job right now i mean i get it but that vibe is not going to help you you know that energy shadow that's overhanging you when you go in the interview you've got to cast that off you've got to be in the present moment and really feel like here i am i'm excited yes Let's talk about this opportunity. I love this company, la, la, la. Okay, you get what I'm saying, All right? So find that fire, find your fire, Taurus. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you. Money and career energies. Let's see what we got. Gemini's, Boop. oh, that fell in my lap. All right, that's the one. <laughs> you like it too, it's the crown. It was flying out of the deck. Okay, gorgeous, overcoming obstacles power play and wealth beautiful career owner boss taking charge and making progress okay beautiful all right let's um let's first look at this overcoming obstacles in terms of your finances all right let's check that out overcoming obstacles for the gemini's with their money and then we'll look at taking charge and making progress. All right. Overcoming obstacles with the moolahs. What do we need to know? Gemini. All right. So we have some daytime anxiety. Oh, and then we have the star gorgeous. And the page of cups again, I shuffled. Taurus just got this. Okay. So right at the cusp of Aquarius Pisces season, which Pisces season starts the 19th, um, but it doesn't matter. I mean, with the timings, but, but it could be also right after that new moon in Pisces, which is happening on the 19th, 20th. Uh, wow. So we, the energy is absolutely going to be shifting out for you. I think there is something, the Pisces, um, Pisces season, that is your 10th house. Pisces is your 10th house of career. Um, uh, as we know, Saturn is going to be moving into your 10th house of career as of March 7th. That's for March's reading. But, um, I think this energy is setting you up for what's the theme of Saturn in your 10th house. When Saturn transits our 10th house, yes, it can bring a lot of responsibility and a lot of obligations and duties, but it also can bring a lot of progress and success okay so whatever you have been worried about with your finances there is a healing here the healing that i feel is going to come through some sort of new destiny this is a destiny energy for me a new direction that your career is going to be going in because this is also your ninth house of the big picture perspective of your life so the way to approach this overcoming obstacles with the money situation is not to be looking so much at the day to day. I get, we get all stressed, you know, about the grocery bill, the gas bill. I mean, yes, I get it. Right. We know this. All right. So I'm not saying those things are not stressors. They're stressors for everybody. I mean, no, unless you're the 1%, the rest of us, we can't handle the continual pressure with the inflation. It's just too much for anybody. All right. I get it. All right. All right. With this five of swords, but focusing on the minutia of the day to day shenanigans, when you go to pay at the supermarket is not helping. It's not helping. This is time to really shift the energy of your money mindset to this bigger picture perspective and also to the fact that this is going to be some sort of new destiny opening up for you 
uh, and looking at how you can start maximizing some sort of new commitment for yourself with your career because of Saturn getting ready to go into that 10th house. So this is the thing that's ultimately will heal your finances. And I think just shifting that energy and shifting your mindset this month is going to go a long way to overcoming the obstacles. I mean, we see this, this crown here suggests to me there is a promotion in the pipeline for Gemini's at some point this year and into really over the next three years, because Saturn will be in Pisces for three years. Um, but sometimes it can come early in the transit. It just depends. And then you work on that promotion and with your star rising high in the sky over the next two and a half to three years, right? It's like this pinnacle. When Saturn is in that 10th house, it is this pinnacle of your career. When you are being seen, the star is rising high in the sky and the money usually follows, okay? So, you know, you're going to be royalty. I mean, we know, okay? So start shifting your your mind and also your emotions toward that of abundance and healing and the bigger picture perspective of your finances, not just the day to day. Okay. And that's going to go a long way toward fixing, fixing whatever this is, the stress that you've been having. Um, there could be some very good news. Page of cups here at this Pisces start of Pisces season are from February 19th to the end of February, February 28th. Uh, that could bring some sort of healing to your finances. So there could be, you know, whatever the good news might be. There's going to be different for different people. I can't sit here and give like 50 bazillion examples, but you know what's going on in your own life. So, um, and when I say healing, you know, it can be something where, you know, maybe there was some sort of a worry about a certain bill that we just got through a Mercury retrograde and a Mars retrograde in your sign and all these shenanigans were going on. And Maybe you got billed for something you shouldn't have gotten billed for. They were like clamoring. They want the money, la, la, la. And maybe the situation finally gets rectified for you in Pisces season. It's like that type of healing I'm talking about. All right. So, all right, we got this, Gemini. It's happening. Okay. Let's see what we need to know about taking charge and making progress with your career. All right, let's see. We have the Six of Cups, beautiful, and the Knight of Cups. Look, and the Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, there is some beautiful energy that's going to make you giddy with delight in terms of your career. There may be something offered to you. Now, this can be some sort of creative project at work. This could be... Uh, you know, leading a team because we got the ace of wands here. So this can be something that you're really going to be stepping up and being the leader of with this Aries, you know, fire energy happening here. Um, so this something, there's a, there's a very important meeting at some point, maybe around the sixth, it's possible. Uh, but it could be at any point in the month, maybe, maybe again in Pisces season in February, because we got the cups going on here. Um, but there's some sort of important meeting where they're going to offer you something that's going to delight you. Okay. It's very, very strong, very, very possible. Um, and you want to say yes to it. Ace of Wands is here. Okay. Now, some of you may have already been offered this and you may be starting it in Pisces season. All right. So I know of one Gemini in particular who has gotten the promotion, but they just have not figured out where, which department that the person's gonna gonna lead up. So that answer is likely to come after February 19th and then it'll be all systems go. Okay, so this is beautiful. There is a lot of goodwill. There's a lot of good energy around you, okay, for the month of February at in your career life. And there may be some sort of new initiative that again, that you start at your job. Uh, this could be a new task you get assigned. Um, but they really took, they really are offering it to you for a certain reason. Like you're bringing, you're bringing the emotional excitement and energy to it that somebody else wouldn't bring to it. So that's why you're getting the offer. Um, 
and it feels good. There's, I feel like there's a little bit of recognition that's going on with this as well. If they're choosing you for a certain task, it's because of your, it's because of your energy, your lighthearted energy that they're really liking. Um, so taking charge and making progress. This is excellent. Very excellent. You got to realize, Gemini, you're going to be noticed big time in your career over the next three years, as I was saying, with Saturn going into your 10th house. So just keep that in mind. As my mother used to say, <laughs> mind your P's and Q's, right? I, what does that mean anyway? But the, I'm getting that vibe a little bit here. Like, um, you know, mind your P's and Q's over, <laughs> over the next over the next three years, if you really want to uh, want to advance, stay in your beautiful Gemini energy, which is sociable, talkative, you know, bringing, bringing the vast knowledge and experience that you have, but you also keep things joyful. You can be, I mean, no matter what type of work there's Gemini usually cracks a joke, lightens the atmosphere, you know, that type of thing. It's that, that type of energy. Mind your P's and Q's. Don't be like this, this, you know, something you're not. Mind your P's and Q's is also, I think, kind of like towing the line. I mean, know the boundaries of what's acceptable, of course, but also don't be afraid to be yourself, okay? Don't be afraid to be yourself. If anybody knows what that expression means, like enlighten me in the comments because I really don't know. It just popped out of my mouth, okay? I don't know. All right, but Gemini, this is very, very good, good energy for you. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on for your money and career life in the month of February. What is happening to the Cancer peoples? Let's find out. Ooh, we have a ring. What's going on here? We have financial commitments, long-term investment. We have, for career, we have partnership, work together, and fulfilling career. Okay, so you're putting a ring on it. <laughs> so, yes. Could be a new financial partnership. So financial commitments, making a new commitment financially. Hmm, let's see what that's all about. All right, Cancer, let's see. And then we'll analyze your career life. So let's look at the money first. What is this new financial commitment for the Cancers? All right, we have a ton of swords. Oh, and but we have the sun. All right, and that is your second house of money. And we have your energy, the seven of cups. Okay. So some of you are manifesting this month, possibly at this full moon in Leo, which is happening um, early in February, 5th, 6th, 7th, around that time frame. Some of you are manifesting the wherewithal, the moolahs, the pentacles to remove an obstacle to a financial wish that you have been wanting to manifest. Now that financial wish, the bucket list energy is going to be different for different people. Could be the money for a home, money for a trip, money for a car, whatever it is. All right. So some of you are manifesting it this month because you've been working toward that. You've been, you're dissolving this blockage that this is like kind of back up against the wall. Um, you know, I'm stuck. I can't find a way out. All right. So some of you, that is what's happening and you're making a financial commitment to something that really is important to your personal happiness with the sun card. This may, if you have children, this could also be something that's, that is related to children in some way, or your motivation is for your children. Like you're trying to buy a house because you want your kids to grow up, you know, in a different neighborhood or in a home rather than an apartment and nothing wrong with an apartment, but maybe you want them to have more room to play or your family's growing or whatever. So it can be something like that going on uh, for some of you. Now, others of you, here's the thing, right? This is always about using the energies and it is a general reading. Some of you, this is about tuning into what is really important in terms of your financial health and financial life and working toward manifesting, dissolving this block. All right. 
and the ten of swords here it's mental it's the sword so it's a mind you know it's a mind game in other words and the mind game of money a lot of it a lot of it in when we're talking manifestation has to do with our own mental attitudes and also with being aligned with our joy and being aligned and taking action on that which is most important to us so you know money loves speed yes money also loves joy so and this is not joyful energy as we know and you know but so some of you are going to be digging in deep the light is shining the sun you know the light shines on everything under the sun and at this full moon because your energy of the moon issues right it's the seven of cups but it's still a moon energy because it's your energy and you're ruled by the moon uh, you know, and that, at that full moon in Leo, your second house of money, you may get that Eureka idea of how you can dissolve this block and manifest. He's got the gold coin in his hand, manifest the gold coin that you need, right? To have some sort of major financial investment. This is major because it's like the ring, it's long-term, it's, it's a long-term investment. Now, some of you, maybe you've already done that. Um, I'm thinking of a YouTuber that I love to watch. Uh, let me know if you watch Exo McKenna, um, but she and her, uh, I don't know if they're married or whatever, but her partner have bought their like dream home and she's a, she's a cancer. They bought their dream home. Um, and I guess it's in LA or whatever. And I'm thinking like, these are her energies, right? She like manifested this dream, this dream home. Um, but I, I didn't get to watch her video the other day. She was saying there was like some sort of issue or something. I don't think it's a ten of swords moment, but, um, you know, but I, so, you know, some of you have manifested this already and dissolved the block toward this manifesting this storybook dream. And go watch her videos. I mean, she's she's amazing. Uh, let me know if you watch her because she's great. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so this is gorgeous energy here, right? But it is time to really focus on your joy in terms of and really committing to your joyfulness when it comes to manifesting the money. All right, so as we know, what we focus on expands. And yes, this can be a, be a difficult place to be in when we're stuck in this ten of swords. But... Um, you know, and in the regular tarot, as we know, his face is down in the sand. He can't focus on anything else except, you know, the darkness. But even in the Ten of Swords in the regular tarot deck, the dawn is on the horizon, that golden dawn. So there's always hope. There's always the possibility of a turnaround. It's important to remember that it is a long term game. And I know that we all of us can get caught up in the day to day. Right. And then we stop seeing the bigger picture perspective and thinking that things can never manifest or never change for us. So it is time to start putting your efforts, you know, into this Leo energy and really focusing in on this, whatever the dream is. It's not so much about a dollar amount. I mean, yes, you know, you need the money for this, but it's more about the feeling that this new home, this new car, this new apartment, the new whatever is going to give you and focusing on that joyful energy of how you're going to feel when that manifests for you. That's going to propel you forward. That's what's going to get you unstuck. Okay. All right. Let's look at, we have some sort of partnership going on here. We have fulfilling career. So working together with somebody else on a project. Let's see what we need to know about this. All right, cancers. Some sort of partnership. Work together. Page of Cups. He's been coming up so much in this reading. And the Knight of Cups. Okay. And the Star. All right, so somebody is going to approach you. Somebody is reaching out to you and you're reaching out to them. Look at this beautiful energy here. So depending on where you see yourself in this, it could be somebody younger than you. You could be the older one or they could be the older one. You're the younger one. It, 
I think that's how I'm going to look at these energies. There is an opportunity here for you to join forces with somebody in your work. Now, this could be uh, to like you're going to be offered to work on a project with somebody else that could bring great recognition to both of you in joining your forces together. There is an element of surprise here with this offer um, to join forces, so to speak. And it could be in a creative sense, especially if you're in a creative field. Um, that, I mean, it could be, you know, it could be for anybody, but there's a meeting about it, Knight of Cups. It is a little surprising. It may be happening in Pisces season, but hey, we got the Aquarian energy, so it's good for the whole month. Uh, it could be right around that new moon in Pisces, which is the 19th. And uh, this could bring great success to both parties concerned. It's going to help maybe raise your profile and the other person's profile, uh, you know, to the next level. So this is very, very good. Um, this is your eighth house of other people's money, the Aquarian energy. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like, um, I'm feeling like you're going to have a very, very, this is the major arcana here, uh, a very transformational experience with this situation. It's going to transform your working life in a way that you can't anticipate when you, when you start it. All right. So it could be that you are on some sort of little, little group. It could be you and this other person. It could just be one person, but it could also be a, a smaller little cohort. Because Aquarian energy is a little bit about a collective too. But it's not big. It could just be a few people. Um, but it's a type of thing you're going to say yes to the opportunity because there's something about it that emotionally excites you about it. And it could be because of the cause. And maybe there's a cause behind it with the star card here with the Aquarian energy. But the longer term implications of saying yes to this, which I think are very good, you're not going to know when you say yes to it. It's going to come about later. This is future energy. So you're transforming your future. This is eighth house, deep transformational energy. You're transforming your future in ways you cannot quite anticipate yet from this. But instinctually, because this is your cups energy too, instinctually and intuitively, this feels aligned for you. So go for it, Cancer. Okay, this feels very, very good. All right, Leos, let's see what's going on for you in your money and career life. Let's see what's happening. Leos. All right, what do we got? Ooh, we have the spiral. Okay, out of control. Are you out of control? <laughs> Climbing the ladder and upward trend. And we have career. We're visiting a job, promotion, ooh, and connection. All right, so let's look at this upward trend with your finances. All right, we'll look at the money first. What's this upward trend? And then we'll tune in with the career motif and energies. All right, what is this upward trend for the Leos with their finances? Okay, with their moolahs. What is going on? I love that word, moolah. I don't know why. It's so fun to say moolah. Give me the moolah. Give me the dough. Dough is just sound, it sounds kind of like lit, right? But moolah sounds very like there's a lot of it, right? All right. Upward trend for your moolahs, the four of wands and the knight of swords. Okay. And there's your energy. All right. All right. There's an upward trend with your moolahs, Leo, because you are deciding to move quickly. You're making a very fast decision. It's probably been in the pipeline for a while. I feel like you've been mulling it over, but you've been waiting for the right time. And we know that, it, you know, for three weeks, the first three weeks of January were not the right time to be making any sort of financial decisions or money moves. So you've been biding your time and waiting, but the time is a nigh. It is here. Uh, and you're going to make this decision very fast about some sort of um, 
new path, new opportunity, new pursuit uh, with your finances. Now, this could have something to do with where you're living, how you're living, and who you're living with, with this four of wands here. Um, some of you are making the quick decision to go on a trip. This is Aries energy. That's your ninth house of travel. So some of you, the upward trend and what's what's happening is that uh, you're going to be putting your money to some sort of good use. It's important also to to invest in ourselves and our own joy. You know, money is not just about money, but it's also about making people happy and and creating joy, I believe. So you're going to be creating some joy for yourself and perhaps those who are closest to you by deciding to go on a trip and booking the trip. Now, maybe the trip will happen in April. It could happen at some other time. But I think you're, you know, making that decision to do that. Um, some of you are making some sort of decision about funding. The upward trend that's coming in is funding some sort of home improvement. Again, you could have been biding your time, waiting. Um, this could also be uh, committing to fund a wedding or some other type of celebration. So uh, you're really focused on moving quickly, making making quick decisions about whatever this thing is with this four of wands. Um, so you're not hesitating. In other words, like I, I keep feeling like this is something you have been mulling over and thinking about for a while, whether it's funding, uh, maybe your anniversary celebration or funding a children's uh, wedding or, you know, your own wedding or whatever it is. Um, you have been, you know, the upward trend is that it seems like things are moving in the right direction. The plan is coming together to make this happen for you, which includes having the money to do it. So your finances should see an improvement. It sees an improvement through you knocking on new doors. That's the other thing, this four of wands. So it is time to take charge, make the decision quickly to act on opening and creating your own opportunities. So with your finances, so leaping on an opportunity, leaping on an investment, leaping quickly on, oh, the venue's open, they're opening a discount. If you book now, you get 20% off. It's like that type of thing. All right. So uh, it's fast. It's fast, but you've done your homework. You are prepared for this. Uh, and this is joy. This is beautiful. This four of wands. So there should be there should be some joyful. You're putting your money to joyful uses. That's this upward trend. OK, with this with this energy. All right. Let's see what we need to know about your um Promotion and connections. What do we need to know about that for your career? Leo. Uranus has now gone direct in your 10th house of career. As of January 22nd. So there may be things all of a sudden popping with your career life. All right. So we have a two of wands. And we have an eight of swords. And we have the seven of pentacles. Okay. All right. So we're clarifying, revisiting a job, promotion and connections. It is time for you to get in touch with some people. The, the thing here is with this eight of swords and even actually all three of these, I feel it's like you're stuck in your head for some reason in terms of your career. Um, you may still feel like things are not going to shift for you. So there could be some sort of, you know, negative mindset. Swords are about our mind, right? And or it's that you're trapped in a mind loop about you're kind of in a little bit of an analysis paralysis with this eight of swords, seven of coins. I mean, same seven of coins, like he's mulling over his progress thus far, but he's not doing anything. He's leaning on the hoe, right? So he's just kind of like, you know, I don't know, you know, I'm maybe daydreaming a little. I'm looking at my progress. This girl, she's like stuck in her head. She feels like she can't do anything. So this is like, they're all stuck there. And same thing, this two of wands guy, he's just standing there like, hello, like world, like, you know, <laughs> like what's going on. So <clears throat> with your career, it's time to get something, get out of stuff, get, get something in motion for yourself. You're caught in your own head for some reason. 
All right. So I think what could be helpful for you with this connections here is you to get the best way to get out of yourself is to do something for somebody else, connect with somebody else, make a, have a conversation, have a cup of coffee, go to a networking event, something like that. You need to get the ball rolling in some way. All right. Otherwise you're just hanging out. Nothing's moving. This is nothing's happening with this energy. Okay. Twos are about waiting. You want a new start. Here's the two of wands. You want to walk through this gateway of this new start in your career. Um, but you can't see how that is going to happen or you don't want to see how it can happen for whatever reason. Maybe you don't want it. You're fearing change. You don't want to change something. So you're just standing there hoping that maybe this bush will grow a little more, but it's not. It's just, hello, there it is. Okay. So get out there, make some connections, um, get out of your own head, I think. And it says here, revisiting a job. So it could also be making connections from some sort of past association. So reconnecting with old colleagues. And when I say reconnecting, I don't mean sending somebody an email. To me, this, this is about actually meeting face to face with somebody like for a coffee or a lunch or something like that. Uh, again, to get out of yourself that you're not just alone in your room reading an email. All right. So there's something about the social aspect that I think is going to be important for you as well with this, you know, revisiting old connections, old colleagues, or even new colleagues now, or somebody who can give you good advice about how to get yourself kind of out of this stasis. You're just in stasis right now, All right? You want something greater and better for yourself. All right. But you gotta, you gotta break out of this rut. This is the this rut going on here. Okay. So we got to start moving on this spiral, moving and grooving. Okay. Because it seems like, you know, your money, like you have something going on here. So this, again, it's like up to you to kick the door open. Same thing with this. You got to kick yourself out of this stasis and be the one who's going to make the initiative, be assertive and extend the invitation, that type of thing. Okay. So get that done, Leah. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on for you with your money and career life. Virgos, what is happening? Virgo. All right, what do we got? Ooh, we have the cup. Overflowing prosperity. Ooh, I like that. Full or empty account. Let's have a full account, Virgo, right? Career, nurturer, that's very you. Taking care of business and fulfilled. Okay. You are taking care of business. I love that song. Let me know if you know that song. Leave it in the comments. I love that song. It's just got such a good like rock and roll vibe. All right. So you're rocking and rolling this month, Virgo. You have overflowing prosperity. So how do we get to that overflowing prosperity? Let's find out. Let's check in with your money. Your cup will be filled. And then we'll check in on taking care of business. All right. With your career. Virgo, overflowing prosperity. All right. Virgo. There's your energy and showing up as the hermit. Ooh, and the sun card. Wow. And the king of wands. Okay. So this is your 12th house of the subconscious. This Leo that's showing up. All right. And look at the lights we have going on here. We have your own inner, inner light. And then we have the outer light that's shining all around you. Okay. And then subconscious energy. So in terms of overflowing prosperity, there is something deep within you because this is like your, your, your spiritual lessons you've already learned, like you, you have, you know, done the work, you have incorporated them into your life. And this is the hermit's a deeply spiritual energy. It is your card also, as we know. 12th house. There is, that is of course our subconscious. It's our dream life. It is the, um, it's the deep within. 
right? It is, it is our, our inner self. Um, there is something here. of a subconscious knowing, an urge, something that has been like kind of shooting up little flames inside of you, <laughs> trying to get your attention, like little, little sparks, little glowy sparks, Virgo, 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 <laughs> you know, you're going to take charge of those little sparks that have been, it's been like, like, you've had a dream about it, or you've just had these, these little, <laughs> these little feelings inside of you. Uh, you're going to take some time this month to follow that inner flame to its inception point within you. All right, right now you're on the periphery. You have the sparks that you are feeling. You're going to dive deep into the flame. Okay. Of what's inside you. And you are going to be bringing it forth out into the world. This is how the overflowing prosperity will happen. There is something inside of you that you are going to be allowing the public to see in a way they haven't seen from you before. Now, this is diving a little into your career, of course. Um, but that is going to bring amazing prosperity to your life. All right. So it's about you taking charge of it, this King of Wands. Like you, you've got to put it out there. You've got to make the effort and put it out there. But it's been trying to get your attention. This hermit, like it's, like, you know, that is the, the spiritual energy that's been rising, the Kundalini rising, like this, this fire within you rising, like to pay attention to this. This is, this is deep, deep joy and satisfaction. And that is what creates financial abundance. So I think this is, this is fabulous. You're going to be tuning into and tapping into that energy for yourself. That's going to be your source of overflowing prosperity as we you know continue to roll out 2023, but you find it, you allow it to fully fan the flames of your motivation and desire starting this month, starting this month. All right. So this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful energies here. Um, Ariel is obviously agreeing. <laughs> okay, so, um, wow, beautiful. All right, let's let's tune into taking care of business. This is so great. I was just looking to see if there's anything else I want to say about that, but that is really really good. All right. Okay, so you can fulfill some deep happiness with your finances. That is the Sun card. by tuning into those sparks. Some of you, what is needed is a change of scenery with the sun card. Some of you may need to pursue this prosperity in a different city, in a different country, with the travel energy of the sun. All right, let's tune into this taking care of business here. All right, we have a nine of swords and there's the king of pentacles, your energy. Oh, wow. And a ten of swords. All right, here it is. So this month you are taking care of business, Virgo. You are wrapping up a cycle that has been extremely stressful and worrisome. A financial cycle, a cycle with your career. This is all connected here. Okay. So this nine and 10 of swords, you're coming to the end of this, you know, difficult period and you are going to be taking care of business. You're here. You're showing up now as your King of Pentacles self. So the energy is shifting big time for you this month. This is very beautiful. Um, worries and troubles and blockages are ending. You are making sure that they are going to end. That's what we mean by taking care of business. You're getting the job done. What is the job? The job is this. Following your inner flame. That'll bring the, the prosperity. Okay. That filling your own cup. Like maybe you've been trapped. You know, both of these can be feel like trapped energies. You've been trapped in dealing with so many shenanigans 
of other people's obligations, other duties, other things. Like you haven't had time to really focus in on following your bliss. Now you will have the time. So some of you, if there has been some worrisome issue about manifesting a job, this cycle seems of blockages seems to be coming to an end. But again, the thing that's important for you is to follow this joyful feeling in terms of manifesting the next new opportunity. It's not necessarily about the money. The money will follow. Focus on the feeling, as I keep saying. And the feeling is this because you need relief and reliefs, release from this, this nine and ten of swords. So many of you, the taking care of business can also be you have to come to terms with the fact that you have been stuck in a very dysfunctional work environment. It's very strongly possible with this nine of swords here where people around you have been toxic and mean and bullies like you got bullies around you. This can be intentional cruelty where people are deliberately mean. Uh, people are backstabbers. You could be in this type of environment for your work and it's time to take care of business and get the heck out of there and take charge of the situation and fill your own cup and stop letting your cup be drained by an environment and a situation that is no good for you. So this I feel is a very important month of big changes for you. And a lot of it has to do with your mindset with the nine and 10 of swords and releasing and letting go. And then also with the acceptance of your own greatness and your own spark of what you're really, really, really good at with the sun card, like where you shine, where you show up and shine and really diving into that, letting the world see that, etc. Okay. So this is beautiful. Right, right now, you may not be fulfilled in your career with this nine and 10 of swords, but you will be. You're gonna shift that energy out, you're gonna take care of business, shift out that energy, and you're gonna be in a much, much better place, Virgo. So remember, use the energies. All right, Libras, let's see what's going on for your money and career life in February. Libras, what is going on? Libras. Oh, we have some coinage, coins, money coming in, wealth and good investment, career, sales and finance, getting a raise and lucky. Okay. All right. So let's zoom in first with some tarot on the money coming in. What, what money is coming in? Where is it coming from? What is it? What is going on? Okay, Libras. Let's see what we need to know. Money coming in. Money coming in for the Libras. Money coming in. Coins for the Libras. Oh, we got an eight of coins. And we have a five of wands. And we have an eight of swords. Okay. All right. So some of you, so two eights, interesting, right? Some of you have been stuck since August with your finances. There's been something going on, I think, that, uh, or since Virgo season, end of August, September, where your finances have been in a holding pattern or they've been downright um, a shambles. <laughs> okay, so they, they maybe have not been very good. Um, they may, there may have been a lot of struggle. This could be internal, external struggle. There's been a lot of spinning of your wheels. You haven't know how, known how to proceed. Uh, there's just been a lot of stuck energy with this eight of swords. Um, so this money's coming in because I think you're getting a job, eight of coins, or you're getting, if you already have a job, it is possible that you're getting a second job. That is possible with this eight of coins. All right. So the money, the money is coming through work. The money is coming through focus, focused attention on what you're good at eight of coins, what your skill and talent is and really applying yourself. So some of you 
Oh, I'm going to do a separate entrepreneur reading, as I said at the start of this video. So some of you may be starting some sort of side hustle on your own. Maybe your, your regular job is just not cutting it in terms of paying you enough and you want to focus and build something for yourself. This is a building card as well. So some of you may more coins may be coming because of that. Um, but this is focused intention, like, you know, again, on what your talent and ability is. So use the energy. It's time for you to shift out of this. We have all of the planets going direct as of January 20th. We've had so much stuck energy the last, I mean, really since the end of October when Mars went retrograde in Aries. I mean, excuse me, in Gemini. So, you know, and that was the, that is the big picture perspective of your life. So you may have found it hard to gain traction on moving forward in your life in terms of, you know, changing it up for yourself, working on longer term goals. But now is the time. Everything's going direct now, Libra. So it is time to concentrate. Now, some of you, you're making a decision that the way out, the way to get more coins, again, for some of you, not all of you, may be that you need to kind of go back to the drawing board and you may decide that you're going to get a certificate or some sort of credential or some of you just may decide to go back to school for a degree, but it doesn't have to be a degree. It could be a workshop, a credential, you know, something that up levels your skills. Again, maybe this is something you do as a side hustle, but it also could be something to make you more attractive to an employer or also increase your, your profile at work so that you can earn more money. So it's like, it can be something, like I said, a certificate, like C, what are those CEU credits or credits, you know, that you get for studying certain things, not just to keep a certification, but also to get certified in something else. There's maybe something where you're gonna branch off a tiny bit and add another skill. You're, you're good at it. You're just gonna credential, credentialize it, if you get my point, with that. And that can bring in more money, all right? So that's how it's gonna happen from these energies. All right, let's find out what we need about, need to know about career. So we have, getting a raise see and lucky all right so what will be lucky for you in your career let's find out libras libra lucky in your career libras three of coins all right and the high priestess and the page of cups this page of cups has come up so much in this reading today all right there's an offer coming out of the blue coming out of nowhere for you to join up with some other people okay so again this is this is in your career this is lucky so it's not visible to you right now it may become evident in aquarius season which ends on february 19th so i would just say from the beginning of february to february 19th there is some sort of offer, Page of Cups, uh, could be, it's a surprise. It comes out of the blue, out of the woodwork. It's in the work behind the scenes right now. The universe is, is arranging the puzzle pieces. Um, and it will become evident to you. And this is, this is some sort of group activity, group gathering to make something happen, to build something, to work on a project together, uh, etc this is also though this three of coins is also an energy of study as well and we just had the eight of coins so you could be coming together with other people in a classroom again working for a credential that's going to bring luck to you there is something about this study aspect that's going to be good for you uh this could also though be an offer to attend some sort of business conference uh it it may happen in February could happen also in um, March with this three, the three that's showing up or two months. It could be in April also with the two here. So two months from when it becomes evident in Aquarius season. So it could be April as well uh, when this gathering may happen. But this is going to be lucky for you interacting with a, you know, a group of people, not a huge group because it's a three. So it's a small, a smaller concentrated group is going to be very, very beneficial for you. 
And this too, this High Priestess, it also could give you the inside scoop on some sort of opportunity down the road that you wouldn't have known about unless you had gone to this gathering. Okay, so you're going to be privy to some sort of, you know, exclusive intel, which will help you, which will be lucky for you, that other people won't have. But you'll have it because you're in this situation. Okay, so wow, very, very interesting energies here, Libras. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you. Money and career. Let's see. I hear Ariel's chiming in. She just did her nails on the sofa, so she's happy. Whoa. All right, this fell out. We have the rose. Ooh. Financial relief, being content, and loving care. Oh, all right. And career, supportive role, job security, and growing. You are growing and blossoming, Scorpio. Everything's a metaphor. Okay. Being content with your finance, with your money, and loving care. Taking loving care of your money, your finances. Let's let's start with the money. I don't know what the heck that cat is doing. She's crazy right now. All right, let's see. So if you hear wacky noises, it's not ghosts or spirits. It's Ariel. All right. I think she's playing with her toy. I got her one of these little toys that like crinkles. She loves that sound. I think that's what she's doing. So I hear crinkling. All right. Scorpio, money, loving care, for the, being content with your finances, loving care, blossoming money finances. Let's see. Ah, we have a four of cups. Oh, and we have a queen of wands. That's your second house of money, the Sag energy. Oh, and there's your energy, the Plutonian. Pluto. All right. Okay. So what do we have here? Being content and loving care, financial relief. There is relief coming. There's something, there's an opportunity coming from the universe, four of cups, to improve your finances and to make an important change with the death card here. So you could be letting go of a very old and stuck situation with your finances, the death card here. And interestingly enough, he has a rose in his hand and we are looking at the rose here. So if something ended, which can feel horrible at the time with like your finances or a job ended or a funding source, some sort of financial source got cut off. Okay. A, a new financial source wants to come on in. So a new stream of income. Um, I would say, now granted this reading is for February, but I would say that it may take you until the end of Pisces season. If I go with the four, full four weeks of the cups energy at the end of Pisces season, start of Aries season to manifest this full blossoming of this money opportunity. Okay. So, you know, I really feel like this is likely to be manifesting probably a job for yourself or like i said some sort of um you know maybe part-time gig or you know just just something that gets the ball rolling in terms of growing your finances okay um and it may be too with this entrepreneurial energy it may be that you just decide that you know the sweet smell of success is best achieved under your own steam so you may decide that you are going to start putting energy behind some sort of side hustle or your own business idea rather than keep looking for a job or you're going to you know, work on it in your part time when you have your full time job. So there could be the idea, the inspiration that comes to the universe brings to you, like the kind of the emotionally that you feel like I'm ready now to go and do this. And that will be a life-changing decision and initiative that you undertake. Okay. So there is something here. I feel a little bit with this queen of wands. There is something here a little bit about, I know we don't have the fool, but I'm feeling a little bit of a leap of faith in that you're going to be leaving behind uh, a situation that may have gotten quite comfortable for you, but the universe yanked it. The universe yanked it. 
The universe pulled the plug on it, the death card here. Okay, but that doesn't mean that it's, you know, that something else can't blossom again. Because look at the rose here. Out of the ashes, the phoenix will rise. And that's you. So, <laughs> uh, you know, it's coming here. So, with this four of cups. So, I feel like you guys are going to get the emotional inspiration of knowing exactly how to proceed in terms of manifesting another stream of income for yourself. Because like I said, this is your second house of money. All right. So, and that's why we have financial relief here. The relief is going to come. Some of you may be manifesting, manifesting a job. It's very possible here with this, this queen of wands, four of cups. Okay. We also have growing, we have job security, career, and growing. Let's see what we need to know about growing your career. But yeah, I feel some sort of funding source that got cut off for you. You're, you're going to take it upon yourself to revive your finances. Some of you, you know, because the Four of Cups, there's a lot of emotional disappointment with the Four of Cups. That changes the moment the other opportunity comes in. So some of you with this death card, you were really emotionally burned by some sort of money situation. Uh, and now it's like you just want to you just want to do it yourself. Queen of Wands, like you want to put all the creative fire and energy into into it yourself. I mean, that could even be like you got burned by a money manager, a financial manager, a financial investment. You listened to somebody else's financial advice. I mean, whatever. You didn't listen to your own self. And there was some sort of loss. I mean, really with the death card. So you're like, never again. Like, I'm going to do this under my own steam. Queen of Wands. All right. Let's see what we need to know about your career life. The tower. <laughs> oh, and the chariot. Okay, I love it. And this page of cups. This little page has been peeking his head into a lot of the readings today. This is very exciting. Okay. So we have the cancer energy, the chariot, which is the big picture perspective of your life. We have the surprising Uranus energy of, <laughs> you know, your seventh house of partnerships, but just, you know, Eureka ideas, Eureka surprising moments. Uh, and the Page of Cups is a surprise energy as well. So um, there is likely to be some sort of surprise opportunity presented to you to grow your career. It may be to go to some sort of conference. Travel may be involved with this cherry here. There's, there's something where maybe you have to move on an opportunity for personal growth in your career. It gets offered to you probably in Pisces season. So after February 19th, um, and it's, it's going to be good for you because it's going to help move you out of a rut with this, with this chariot. But the, the essence here, both of these are fast energies. Boom, boom, boom. But because this is your ninth house, the big picture perspective, this opportunity, this sudden opportunity to, I feel like there's a travel, a conference. You could present at a conference. You could be invited to a conference. You could be invited to go to, uh, to, uh, work at the company in another city. There's something like that. This could be a surprise promotion. So that could be growing your career. You want to be moving in a direction that's going to affect the bigger picture perspective of your life. It's not just about, you know, ho-hum, ho-hum, same old, same old. You want to, and with the major arcana here, you want to affect change that's that and growth that's going to impact the longer term for you, not just tomorrow, you know, the immediate future, but the longer term future. So uh, this is exciting. And this is also, there's a lot of career recognition here as well. Uh, but there may be a decision that you need to make. There may be two possibilities presented to you. That's that's always a possibility with the chariot. Um, but we're also talking about the bigger picture perspective of your life path moving forward. So this is very, very exciting. This is beautiful energy with this rose here. So you're smelling sweet. <laughs> you're sitting in a, in a sweet spot here with this chariot. Um, but the growing aspect. You have to get out and move about. 
And likely by doing that, getting the wheels in motion, that's another thing with this chair, getting the wheels in motion is going to also open up your mindset to fresh ideas for your career and, you know, if you if you have your own business and your business life. Um, that's also like kind of mind-blowing, expansive energy. There could be some very exciting new connection that you meet that this person is going to help your career. All right, if you're looking for a job, the growth can come from a very unexpected place, a very unexpected interview, um, and it could be it could be a really plum opportunity. So this is excellent, excellent energy, Scorpio. Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for your money and career life. Saggies, what is happening for you? Let's find out. All right, we got it. Ooh, we got the skull. Okay, we have a rough patch, borrowing money and low on cash. All right. We have career, hospice, healer, no work, and reinvention. Remember, everything's a metaphor here, okay? So if you are going through a rough patch right now with your finances, we're going to use the energy and ask the tarot what you need to do to shift that energy, okay? So let's find out, and then we'll dive into the second part of the career, reinventing yourself with your career. All right, so... What does Saggy need to know about manifesting some more money? Because this is like, you know, like the death card in tarot, right? So this is like we're in a transformation stage. Things are shifting. What do we need to know about manifesting more money if we're going through a rough patch? Saggy's energy. What do we need to know? All right, we have the High Priestess, and we have the Eight of Coins. Okay, that's good. Gorgeous, and we have the Ace of Coins. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. All right, so something is likely to be coming in in Aquarius season. You, you are not aware of the opportunity yet. All right, I'm filming this January 27th. We are in Aquarius season, but this to me with the two here, that is February. All right. So there's likely to be some sort of opportunity that's going to present itself uh, for your work. Eight of coins. All right. So to shift the energy and it could be the seed money you need to move forward on some sort of financial initiative. Um, I feel like for some of you, because we had no work down here, some of you there is some sort of opportunity coming out of the woodwork for a job. Um, okay. What this is also saying to me is in terms of money, there may be something that you have overlooked, something that's in the background that you just haven't had the time and energy to focus in on, but it could be the answer to what you need for this fresh start. So maybe there is an investment account you forgot about. Maybe there was an old account from some job you had a long time ago that you had an IRA or something and you forgot about it uh, or some other investment thing. You know, if you, that happens. If we job hop a lot, we forget we had an account so, such and such a place, etc. cetera, okay? Uh, there is something here for you to focus in on in your financial affairs, your, your financial books to find the overlooked piece the hidden away piece of information that could be, you know, make the positive change in your finances. So that's, you know, that's another possibility for some of you. Um, others of you, this could be also be something to do with, um, you know, really, I don't want to say financial loopholes, but taking advantage of the laws that are on the books for, your income taxes, as an example. Okay, there's all sorts of hidden deductions and things that people can take. And when I say hidden, it's because they just don't realize them, right? Especially if you like do your own fi finances, your own taxes, like you're not a tax, unless you're a tax professional. You're, if you're not a tax professional, you don't know, right? You don't know what's going on. So this could be, again, like you focus in, maybe you get the help of a professional and things come to light out of the woodwork, like, oh yeah, wow, like 
I really can actually get more money back this year on my taxes by deductions I didn't know existed. Okay, again, everything's all legal and above board. We're not suggesting anything illegal. Um, now, High Priestess also, because this moon card here, right? And this could also be some sort of moonlighting that you may be doing. Some of you may be um, focusing very hard on a certain financial goal that you want to achieve and you're going to get a part-time job to do it. You could manifest a part-time job this month for yourself. This is, again, it's moonlighting that you may be doing. This is not a serious, serious like thing. This is to achieve a very specific and focused financial goal. All right. And for some of you, it may be something to do with, you know, you don't want to borrow money for some reason. We have borrowing money. You don't want to borrow money for a certain thing. You'd rather just take a temporary part-time gig for a couple months and get it done and manifest that, that money. Like if you have a car repair or you're wanting to buy new furniture or you need a deposit for a new apartment or whatever. All right. So, but again, the opportunity is not visible yet. It's coming into visibility. So this is very, very positive energy. And some of you, you need to focus on your job search. You've been maybe all over the place. You've been here, you've been there. All right. You need to focus, get back to what you are good at, really promote what you are good at your skills instead of like worrying about this, that, the other thing or whatever. And the opportunity can come. That's that's what you got. You got there's fo this is the thing, the focus. All right, let's see what we need to know about the career. We have no work and reinvention. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Reinventing yourself with your career. And some of you too, with this high priestess, you could be wanting to bring a hidden talent out into the world. Like maybe you've been doing something behind the scenes and you haven't really monetized it yet and you would like to pursue it as a career. All right, let's see what we need to know about reinventing yourself career-wise, Sagittarius. All right, we have the chariot and we have the temperance. There's your energy. Oh, and here we go, the eight of swords. So yeah, so... You need to make up your mind. This is the issue. This eight of swords. You're your own worst enemy with this situation. Okay. Um, this can be analysis paralysis. Uh, this could be also not willing to see possibilities. Uh, you could just be very mentally like uh, kind of caught up in your own world and your own anxieties and your own stuff and not looking in terms of possibilities for yourself. Okay. So, I mean, we all go through this stage. It's, it's, you know, but you can shift out of it. That's what you can do this month to reinvent yourself. This is the card of reinvention with the temperance. It is about making important spiritual changes, right? That lead to outward changes and growth in your life, right? Everything like starts shifting within as we shift within our outer world shifts as well. Right now you're stuck in your inner world, eight of swords. So you're going to start opening yourself up to making some important mental and spiritual changes with what you know is possible for you. You're showing up as your major arcana energy here, the temperance. Uh, and we have the chariot. We have you stepping out and claiming some sort of new path for ahead for yourself. All right. So this is, this is very, very positive, positive. This is your eighth house of transformation. Okay. So like, and then we have the transformation energy here as well. So you, you really are going to be on Sagittarius 2.0 and transforming yourself, taking charge, and uh, moving on an entirely, entirely new path. But first you've got to get there and decide what that path is gonna be for yourself. And there may be two options that you have been flirting with, two different roads you might go down. It's time to make the decision and stop faffing about. I love that word faff. Stop faffing about and make the decision, right? 
the time is of the essence here, as we know, because of the finances being what they are. Okay, so you have to be more visible. That's the other thing, too, with this chariot. You, I mean, you don't have to do anything, but this is what the cards are suggesting. There is, there is bringing out, maybe you've been kind of playing it safe in your little Eight of Swords world, you know, stuck behind these swords here. You've been kind of off to the side playing it safe. It's time for you to, you to allow your beautiful energies to come out and shine a lot more and be visible and be seen. That is part of the reinvention process. All right. You get what I'm saying. Not playing it safe anymore, but really letting yourself blossom and grow and move down an exciting new path for yourself. So once you get rolling on this path, you're going to be like, why did I waste so much time stuck over here? All right. But I get it. I mean, this is a major transformation you're going through. It's okay. All right. So, but you got very positive, positive energies as well over here and shifting your money life. And you could be on a very successful new path for yourself very fairly soon, I would say. Okay. You're going to get the ball rolling this month. That's what's important. All right. Is getting the ball rolling in a certain direction and knowing what you want so you can manifest it in terms of this reinvention of self changing from one state to another which right now we're in this state. So you want to start, you know, changing into the state of movement and positivity. And that's, and making the decision. And that's going to help you start rolling down the road of a whole new destiny with your career life. Capricorn, let's see. Money and career, what's going on? For the Capricorns, let's find out. Ariel's like right here. You can't see her, but she might pop up. You never know. She's on the mouse pad once again. All right. Capricorn, money and career. Oh, gorgeous. We have the award. Winning money. Payoff for effort and recognition. Beautiful. And career. We have advancement, professional work, and fame. Okay. All right, so let's tune in first with the money situation. Um, I like this payoff for effort. Let's see what's going on with that. All right, payoff for effort. Well, we know you're one of the hardest workers in all of the Zodiac. Capricorn. So what is your payoff for all the effort you've been putting into your life, into your money life? Whatever, maybe it doesn't have to just be career. Maybe you've been really working hard on managing your finances, on your investments, paying off debt. All right, let's see. So pay off for effort. Maybe you are going to be paying off a debt. Let's see. Maybe whatever you've been investing your time in, the universe is going to bring you some nice money. Six of Wands and Award Recognition. We're talking about that, but I want to pay off for effort. Ooh. Hierophant. Oh, and the Five of Coins. JC, that was for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I love this, though. This is beautiful. So current situation handout, right? We're reading this all holistically. Uh, and... You know, keeping the faith, despite the fact that there was not evidence of money really coming in or the money was trickling in like just a tiny bit for the effort you were putting in. Your effort was huge. 100 percent, 110 percent. The money coming back was like 5 percent. But nevertheless, you persisted. Here is the Hierophant here. And this is your fifth house of creativity. All right, this is, and this deck, they call it the faith card. So you kept the faith in yourself, in the project that you were working on, the steps you were taking to pay off this. Like I said, this could be a debt. Five of, five of Pentacles is a debt card. So you honored your obligations in some way. You kept the faith. You worked hard to make it happen, maybe with a side hustle, fifth house. Um, you know, really investing your energy into shifting it's shifting this. And here it is, the six of wands. This is victory and success. So some of you are wrapping up, I think, some sort of financial problem, probably, a, you know, like I said, a debt. The Hierophant energy is also 
a contractual obligation, and debt is a contractual obligation. You sign up to borrow money. You sign a lease. You sign an apartment lease. You sign a mortgage. You sign, uh, you know, sign up for a credit card, whatever it is. You, that is a contract. So victory and success with a contractual financial obligation. That is the payoff for effort. If you have been working your buns off to change your financial situation, you've been laying the groundwork, maybe you have started a side hustle and it's just been, I'm gonna do a separate entrepreneur reading for my entrepreneurs out there. But maybe, you know, you, again, it's been trickling in. It's gonna, the spigot is gonna start opening, especially for my entrepreneurs, okay? Others of you, it's this debt thing. Okay, and you know, the, everything, it's like the snowball effect. And that is a way of paying off debt. You can Google that. I'm not going to go into that. But it's like you pay off the smallest thing. Just even paying off the smallest debt first. Like it could be like $100, right? Or $1,000, whatever. A smaller debt. Just paying that off is going to make you so full of victory and success for yourself that you're going to keep going. Okay, you're going to feel inspired. Six of Wands, and you're going to keep going and investing your energy into this. So this is very, very positive. Uh, I feel like this is excellent, positive turnaround energy in terms of paying off things, paying off debts. Okay? Very, very good. All right. So pay off for effort. Um, and also, you know, Uranus is moving direct in that fifth house right now. So those of you who are entrepreneurs, if there has been a, a slowdown with your, with your business, Uranus moving direct. And remember, Uranus is, is erratic energy. It's a roller coaster. Like you can't always count on it. And the entrepreneurial journey is a roller coaster anyway, because you never know from month to month, are there going to be appointments? Are there going to be products sold or the, you know, um, so there, there could be, like I said, some sort of surprising turnaround, especially with your own entrepreneurial efforts. All right. But you shouldn't count on that always happening because Uranus is uncountable. You cannot count on him. Okay. <laughs> like, all right. Let's see what we need to know about this professional work, fame, advancement. And that's also our six of wands that we just had with the money. But let's pull some cards just for this professional work and fame. And recognition. I mean, that's the award card as well. But what I'm really feeling is you're going to be feeling really proud of yourself, Capricorn. That's six of wands. Okay. Oops. I had some cards fall in my lap. I'm back up there. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. Page of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, so something that has been stuck. The energy is shifting. All right, you thought you had given up hope. You were, your head was in the sand. You're like, it's never gonna, gonna happen. Uh, you were kind of lost even your mojo in visualizing about it. Eight of Swords. Like, you couldn't even see it happening. You just... You know, in a positive sense, honestly, like what this can be is is literally just surrendering it to the universe. You can look at it that way. Like, all right, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll live to see another day. Like, it's like that type of energy. So, you know, you're that's what I feel with these two things. Like, you didn't want to stay stuck in this energy because this was getting a little ridiculous. Like, wondering and worrying and analyzing, it, is it going to happen or not? I think you finally just said, you know, forget about it. I got to move on with my life. I can't keep staying stuck. This, this can be just a stuck blocked energy, especially mentally because it's the swords. So great. If it happens, whatever. I got to move on to other projects. I can't stand still and just wait around to see if this happens or not. No, you got too many irons in the fire Capricorn, right? You just can't do that. But you were starting to do that. And I think that was bothering you. So you're shifting out of this and look what we got. We got the page of coins. Notice the back is turned to this and notice this is facing this. All right. So if this is, you had an ultimate moment of surrender and, or you will be in February. And because of that moment of surrender with your career, you know, que sera, sera, what will be, will be, 
then the good news comes in and it's news I think you are going to like. It's your energy. Here you go. There's an offer. There's an opportunity. Um, there could be something here where um, somebody wants you to present something at a conference. Page of Coins can be um, study, learning, investigating. So there could be an offer to to put you before the public so they can get to know you on a deeper level, like something like that. So it could be a podcast invitation, being on somebody else's video, being on TV, like, like something where it's like a behind the scenes I'm feeling it's, it, it's digging, it's digging a little deeper, going beyond just surface surface stuff. Uh, a profile piece could be written on you. It's, it's like something like that. Um, an opportunity to really, um, share of your, of yourself in a deeper way. Um, it could be the type of thing again, you know, if in whatever job you're working at, maybe you get employee of the month and you get featured on the, the web newsletter or something. It's like that type of energy and people get to know you, the company as a whole gets to know you a little more. They know you have uh, a chinchilla and popcorn's your favorite snack. And, uh, you know, you love to play uh, pickleball on the weekends. Like, like, you see what I'm saying? Like a, a deeper, not, not knowing and knowledge of you, like something like that. Um, but again, apply the energies to life. This, this is very, very nice energy. Uh, and again, some of you are getting this good news in relation to shifting some sort of financial problem. Okay. It's all related. It's all connected to all of this. So exciting exciting news Capricorn. all right aquarius let's see what's going on for you with your money and career life in february aquarius what do we have aquarius and happy birthday aquarius i almost forgot that all right Ooh, we have the seal business contract documents and gift of money. Ooh, maybe for your birthday. Career, writing, clerical, paperwork, and staying put. Yeah, there's some sort of paperwork going on. That's that's what I'm really feeling, like a con, I think a contract for sure. Okay, so let's see what we got going on. Let's, let's first look at this business contract documents money What's going on with your money life? You're sealing a deal. Like what is, what is happening with your money life? All right. And then we'll look at the career. All right. Aquarius. Contract. Money. Money contract for Aquarius. I feel like somebody's opening up a shop. That's what I'm getting. It's like a. It's not a big place, but, and it's like in a little house or something, kind of like sort of along those lines or like in a row of, um, like little brick businesses, like something like that. Somebody's, somebody's signing a lease to a shop. It's not a huge place, but it's, it's very homey. That's what I'm getting. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right. We have a four of cups. And the five of cups and the hermit. Okay. The aquarius, I mean the Virgo energy, which is your eighth house of transformation, other people's money, sex, death, taxes. Okay. You're getting the financing for some sort of project. That's the thing. Something fell through before five of cups. There was a disappointment. Uh, that could have been five years ago, five months ago. Um, there was some sort of financial disappointment, but it was for a reason. It was because it was not the right time and it was not the right thing for you, but the universe is bringing it. Here's this, this cup coming in, uh, and, uh, it's going to help you move forward on some sort of very important personal goal. And also it is connected with, um, you know, a spiritual lesson. So you had to learn the lesson of trusting and allowing and accepting divine timing, accepting disappointment, 
you know, all of those types of things that can happen when we have a disappointment or we're, we're really hoping something's going to materialize at a certain time, at a certain place with a certain person, you know, all of those types of things. You learn that lesson of whatever this disappointment brought with it. Okay. And so that's good. There was some spiritual growth involved, in other words, with this particular money lesson that you went through. Um, but this is also, as I said, your eighth house, other people's money and investments, mortgages, deeds. It is a house of contracts, contractual obligations, also with debt. So I think, because again, we're talking about business contracts. We have an opportunity. I feel like there's an opportunity for you in terms of financing, using other people's money, maybe to start your own business to, like I said, rent a, a place where you can open a shop, uh, finally, uh, leverage. I think you're going to be leveraging other people's money in some way. There's business contracts involved, obviously, and documents in order to do that. Um, so, and the opportunity is presenting itself to you for that. This could be a refinancing of your home. That is possible as well. Uh, so, so this is very, this is very positive. And with the hermit involved, this is likely, again, it's can, because it's a major arcana. This is connected to some sort of larger enterprise in your life. So it has, it has a, a bigger purpose. In other words, besides just, it's not just, oh, I'm refinancing my house. Okay. No, it's like I'm refinancing because that seed money or whatever the money is that I'm getting is going to help me build something else. It's leverage. You're leveraging some sort of asset is what I am feeling with this, this scenario here. Okay. So again, you got to apply the energies to your life. It's a general reading, but that's the direction I feel like this money situation is heading in. Okay. So let's, let's see what we got with this staying put and paperwork. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you make a seal, like the thing isn't going anywhere, right? You're, you're sealing the deal. So there is a commitment involved with this, but it's also to bring a bigger purpose into your life. That's why you're doing this, why you're making this commitment happen. All right, let's see. What do we need to know about this paperwork, writing, clerical? So with the career energies, what do we need to know for Aquarius career? Gorgeous. Look, 10 of coins and the Hierophant, more commitments. And this Queen of Cups, Pisces season. Okay. So... You guys are committing to building longer term growth for yourself. You're committing also, I mean, we're talking about your career with the second energy here, but um, you're also, this is longer term growth. This is legacy growth. This is inheritance energy. This is also um, real estate, like big ticket real estate. Um, so again, it could be a business related this is investing in multiple properties. It's like stuff like that. Uh, and this is your fourth house of home and family and roots, the Taurus energy here. So some of you, what this is involving is uh, the paperwork and what's going on at your job is also, or the, the, just, the reason you're staying put at a particular job perhaps is because this has to do with, it's, it's helping you make the money to, pay off your mortgage or to buy a house. Okay. So if you have been thinking perhaps of changing, changing your money flow and getting some sort of other job, you may not, the offer could come in and you could be like, you know what the offer for the, for the mortgage could come in and you're like, I don't, I can't leave my job right now, or I'm choosing not to leave my job right now because I need to have that steady income to pay this mortgage if you get the financing. All right, you see, you see what I'm saying? So 
um you're you're making this is a big money commitment that's going on here uh, but you're emotionally ready for it with the queen of cups there could be a lot of paperwork involved with this as i said this is a big deal we're getting another major arcana showing up here as well um now with this writing project some of you um may be embarking and committing to digging your roots down deep into some sort of writing project that you'll be doing from home because there's your home energy that you'll be emotionally invested in and could in the long term bring you a nice slice of income with this 10 of pentacles okay so that's another possibility uh with this particular energy but this is really about, because eighth house is emphasized here. We've got big ticket money, commitments, contracts. That's what this seal is about. This is about your, you know, making decisions this month that impact your longer term financial future. So, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing bad here. This looks like I said, whatever just was the disappointment before is being rectified. Uh, but but we're talking about some this is big money that's going on here okay so just be really sure about your decisions that everything is aligning for you exactly as you'd like it to and that you're emotionally on the same page even as your partner because this is also marriage energy and even the ten of coins so making sure that you if you have a partner that you and your partner are on the same page and aligned with your money goals and the investment, this can also be investments, the investments of, you know, the finances. All right. So that's another way to look at this, this particular energy. Uh, you may be keeping, again, this is not financial advice, but you may decide to keep staying put, keep certain investments where they are right now. You may not move them around. So again, not financial advice, figure it out, talk to your, talk to your broker or whoever you need to talk to. Um, so interesting you're making big money moves this month aquarius so make sure you have all your information all your paperwork that's what this card is about uh before you sign up to anything and seal a deal all right pisces let's see what's going on for your money and career life in the month of february pisces people what is happening venus is in your sign at least for the next couple of weeks. And then it's going to get go into Aries, I believe, the day of your new moon or the day after your new moon on the 19th. All right. Happy birthday to the February Pisces people. All right. What do we got for the Pisces? Ooh, we have the sword. All right. Money conflicts, cutting corners, but also a breakthrough. Okay. I like that. Career, law and order, pay cut, defense, and being fired. Uh-oh. All right, we don't like any of that. So let's see what we got going on here. All right. Um, it does look like a two of swords situation, right? With these crossed swords. So making a decision, not wanting to make a decision, being at a mental stalemate. Okay, but you're going to have a breakthrough. Um, you may have to, we're going to look at this defense thing here. You may have to defend yourself in terms of your career, like maybe a colleague's encroaching on your idea or somebody is being attitudinal at work or something like that. So we'll look at it from that perspective. Remember, everything is a metaphor with these Oracle cards, everything. Okay. Um, but I like this breakthrough, this breakthrough idea. So let's see what's going to be breaking through for you with your money life. And hopefully you're not going to be having any money conflicts with anybody close to you. All right, but money breakthrough. We'll see what comes up. Could be you've already had conflicts and you've been cutting corners and now you're going to have a breakthrough so that doesn't happen again. All right, so let's see. All right, Pisces. Beautiful. The Fool. And the five, uh, the five of coins. Okay. And the page of swords. All right. I like to see that. Okay. So there have been money problems and money conflicts. This page of swords and this, this five of coins. Uh, there's likely been many spirited discussions. All right. About 
show me the money. Where's the money? Where's the money coming from? There's not enough money, et cetera, and so on. Um, now, what's interesting is that the Page of Swords can also be um, social media stuff. So uh, the flash I'm also getting here is that you you could be feeling a little low about your own financial situation because maybe you're comparing yourself to other people. You know, the flashy uh, Instagram stars and maybe just your friends posting their stuff on Facebook or look at my new car or whatever. I mean, you know what I'm saying? There could be a little, um, you know, envy or something going on here as well that needs to be shifted. Bring the focus back to yourself and what you can do and stop comparing yourself and your financial progress to other people. It's not helpful. Okay, but... I also feel like you could be having a breakthrough conversation if we're talking about the breakthrough card, a breakthrough conversation with yourself or with a, a person who you maybe have been having money conflicts with. And there could be an entirely fresh start with that energy, with the fool here. Okay, uh, so a brand new beginning, a fresh start, a clean slate. However, I am also going to say this. Don't let anybody fool you out of your money in the month of February. This is just another aspect of the fool energy to not forget about. Um, you might be feeling like to keep the peace, you have to, uh, you know, hand over your money in some way to keep the peace with a family member, a friend, who knows? I mean, there's so many ways that people mostly narcissists manipulate other people into giving them their hard-earned money don't let yourself be made a fool of or be manipulated pisces okay so you may have to in fact yes take up the sword in your own defense and say no i am not going to be made a fool of with my finances you're not getting access to my bank account or you know whatever i'm not paying your way or your bills i got my own bills to pay so there could be some stuff like that going on. It depends on your personal situation. But another another way of thinking it too is that you're this is baby steps, right? So you're going to start a new agenda on shifting your mindset and making plans and executing them to snap out of this, you know, five of pentacles energy and really put your energy behind a fresh start for your money life. Okay, so that's all right. Um... So yeah. All right. Let's see what else we need to know. So we have the defense that's even coming up here again. You may have to defend your, defend yourself. Like I said, all right, let's, let's pull from the other deck and see what we have. Pisces. All right. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. And the fool suggests too, there can be a whole new beginning for you. Maybe you did unfortunately get fired or lose your job in the last couple of months. You know, there could be a breakthrough with a new beginning on the horizon for you. Let's see. Ten of cups. Page of wands. And the high priestess. Okay, this is good. So in the month of February, in Aquarius season, there is something coming out of the woodwork. High Priestess is not revealed yet. Coming out of the woodwork of some sort of opportunity for you. So particularly if you've been out of work, probably for the last two months at least, uh, things are finally going to start moving in the right direction with the page of wands here there's going to finally be opportunities you can apply for again coming out of the woodwork um and you could have a really really good interview uh or meet with people at a company that is really excellent that you're really going to want to work for this ten of cups it's like they're a functional family not a dysfunctional family workplace like they're good so this is this is excellent excellent energy but this is again like you're moving toward this you're moving toward this um all right so if there has been some sort of of problem uh the other thing too here is uh if we're looking at this money conflicts like we were looking at before 
Um, I do feel, again, you're going to be keeping some of your own thoughts to yourself and not, not revealing to other people what you do have. Because sometimes people act very funny about that. So you're going to be keeping, you're going to be keeping certain plans, certain money situations on the down low, under wraps. Not that you're doing anything underhanded or anything like that, but uh, you just don't want people to be taking advantage of you in some way. Um, so I think that's, that's good advice, but I'm, fe I'm feeling here. There's just something, something that is going to be revealed that is going to help you move forward. Uh, and have some sort of positive interaction at a place that is going to, you're going to really like. Uh, it is possible too, what I am feeling is that somebody who has been problematic in the work environment, if you already have a job um, and there's been somebody who's been a pain in the butt, uh, they, it is possible that they leave and create, and which their leaving creates greater harmony in your immediate work environment. So that's also possible. Uh, they're, they're already kind of secretly applying for jobs. And um, I would say right after the new moon in Pisces, when the moon's in Aries, so probably around the 20th, 21st, 22nd, uh, you may hear the good news that they're going to be skedaddled. So that would be very good because you may have come to, you know, have some arguments with them. This is, you know, it's not a great card, this sword, but it's okay. Um, you know, so they, they've been a problem. They've been a problematic presence. They may be leaving, uh, which is great. So you could also, you know, be having this refreshed energy with this fool and this 10 of cups for your workplace. If you already have a job because a thorn in your side who, you know, is not very nice is finally leaving. This can be a lot of gossip in the workplace with this page of swords. This can also be somebody who, uh, with this, this five of coins, like does this social ostracizing. So like, they don't ask you to eat with them at lunch and there's all these clicks and like, they're the ringleader. It's like that type of thing. So somebody who's been a ringleader at work of a, like a little clicky bunch and they never ask you to eat lunch or go out for drinks after work, like that type of shenanigan stuff, like that person may be leaving. All right. So, and that will be, you'll be breathing a sigh of relief over that. So interesting energies here to work with Pisces. Remember to always apply the energies to your life. But um, I feel like this is very important not to be made a fool of in some way over your finances, protect, protect your own interest with your finances and don't mix your finances with your family. All right. Cause it is possible with these energies that a fan it's possible some, a family member may come and ask for some sort of money. Just, you may have to, you know, massage the truth a little bit and just say, you know, I really don't have it to give to you, even though you may have it, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to keep that harmony in the family relationship and you don't want to be made a fool over, you know, fool of. It's one thing to give somebody a gift, right? You say, okay, here's hundred dollars, you're down on your luck right now. And you give it as a gift, no strings attached. If that's different energy, then these two side by side and somebody may be trying to manipulate and trying to get you to feel sorry for them. Okay. So you know what I'm saying with that energy, just protect yourself. If you want to give somebody a couple bucks, that's one thing, but, um, I would keep the high priestess. I would keep what you do have kind of to your own personal business, especially if you're dealing with family. Thank you so much for joining me for your February money and career readings. I will be back with the entrepreneurial reading. I'm excited to do that. That was a suggestion from a viewer. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to work on that the next uh, day or two. I'm going to probably do the general monthly reading first and then dive into the entrepreneurial one. There's tea leaf readings coming, all sorts of other readings. So stay tuned and, uh, I will see you again soon. Take care. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you with these energies. All right. Stella Wilde signing out.